Alright guys, hello and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video guys, we're going to be showing you how to test spark plug wires. And there's a couple reasons you should do this, but the main one is because you have a misfire. So if you have a misfire, this may be a possible solution. Alright, so I know that there is a certain amount of resistance that's supposed to be on each plug. But I don't know, I don't know what that is, and I'm sure that there's a spec for it for every individual vehicle. So I'm not gonna be telling you how much resistance should be in your spark plug wires because to be honest with you, I don't care. Today's check is just gonna be to see if it actually connects, which means that there is a, which means there is a signal going through the wire. So first I'm gonna take off my spark plug wires and then I'm gonna show you how to test it. All right guys, so for this, you're gonna be needing a digital multimeter. Now, some of you may not have this, but you can go down to your uh, local store like Walmart or probably any kind of uh, part store and get one of these for like 10 to 15 bucks. It is a really cheap and good thing to have because you can test a lot of stuff with these, not just spark plug wires. So it's, it's, it's a quite an important tool in my opinion. So I do recommend going out and getting one. Now what you want to do is you want to take it and you want to set it to 20k ohms. Okay. See that right there, that little symbol that says ohms. and Basically, we're going to be seeing if, if there's conductivity in between these wires, which means, does it, is there going to be a signal that goes through it whenever, there, whenever it is connected? So, you want to put it in here. Make sure you're touching the metal, because if not, it's not going to work at all. And as you can see, I have like 8.59, 8.62. Hope you can see that. Yeah, you can. And so, that means that they do work. So, so that means that this one is not a bad wire. So now you just want to go through your uh, vehicle and do every single wire until you find the culprit or, you know, eliminate the option. All right guys, so I tested every plug wire inside of the vehicle, or underneath the hood of the vehicle, I mean, and I wasn't able to find one that was bad. So that tells me that that's not the issue. I even tested the cool wire, and all I was looking for there was if there was, if there was connection. All right guys, so now you know how to test the plug wires on your vehicle to see if that is the cause of your misfire. In this case, this is not the cause of the misfire, but I do think I know what it is. This engine, um, Whenever we first got it, you guys may remember, the catalytic converter was stopped up. Now, what causes a catalytic converter to get stopped up? Well, driving like at 30 miles an hour all the time, like just driving really slow all the time, it causes everything not to get burned off properly and it causes, it causes a lot of issues inside the engine with carbon deposits and stuff like that. And a very high amount of carbon will cause a misfire. And I think that's the issue here. I think it's a very high amount of carbon. and if you're wondering why I think that, I'm going to show you real quick. Alright guys, so if you'll look at this black, almost oil-like substance here, you can see it on my finger. Um, at first glance, you would, you would think that it was oil. Same thing that I thought it might be. But, here's the issue with that. This is very grainy. And oil's not grainy. Also, my oil is not that color yet because this engine has this engine hasn't had oil in it for long enough for it to become that dark of a black. What this is is it is carbon, just solid carbon deposits that have broken down off the engine after what we've done to it, 
and is now coming out of the tailpipe and literally making everything dirty. I mean, it is. I mean, it is all under here. There's a lot of it up there where those two pipes come into that. Where those two pipes come in. Yeah, it is. It, it is bad. So, I think that that's why I think that it is just flat full of carbon and it needs to be ran out and driven. Um, mainly because other than that, we've tested everything from map sensors to coal wires. To I mean, there's not a lot. There's there's actually nothing that we have not tested. <laughs> um, and fix so yeah so the next thing that so i guess the next step for this truck is going to be just to drive the hell out of it and see if we cannot just get some of this carbon to blow out that is our next step so we're going to do that i don't know if that'll be a video if you guys want it to be a video be sure to let me know but until then i love you all and i'll see you in the next one